Hey everybody, it's Ori from Astro Web again uh, with a new video uh, showing some some issue or some uh, fix that we actually worked on yesterday. But we wanted to share it with others uh, so you won't have to stumble along the way. So uh, basically, uh, the problem that we're looking at right now on the screen is uh, if you have Magento installed and you have PayPal uh, payment standard and you're getting a lot of your customers uh, mentioning that they can't uh, move forward, they can't purchase from PayPal and they're getting this message, unable to process payment, please contact the merchant as the shipping address provided by the merchant is invalid and the merchant has requested that your order must be shipped to the address. So <clears throat> just to explain before the fix what the actual problem is, um, so when you're on your shopping cart, when you're on Magento, uh, and someone fills out all their information and then clicks on continue to go to PayPal, you're basically sending PayPal all of the information that they filled out on the site, including their shipping address. And for some reason, um, PayPal is declining that address. Either it's, it's something incorrect um, that, that doesn't exist, or PayPal has some kind of issues. And, and in some cases, PayPal is mistaken, but it, it doesn't matter. Your customers cannot move forward. So in order to fix this, what you want to do is you want to override the address verification. So uh, there, there's a field called uh, address, <coughs> address underscore override. So if you override it and let um, users either log in at PayPal or if fill out the, the address once more, you'll be able to kind of bypass that, let people move forward, and then skip a lot of issues. Um, it does, it, it's not the perfect solution, but it is the best solution we could find with this specific Im implementation because users will have to, some users, if they don't have a PayPal account, which is probably not that many, but some users will have to a, input their shipping address um, and billing address on your website and then the billing address again on PayPal. So it's not the best, but it is, uh, you know, the best solution that we come up with. So let's, let's go to show you how to actually solve it. Okay, so number one, you want to log into your Magento admin, and this is just a, a test site we show, so we don't show it on our client's website. And you want to do two things on the site. So you want to go to system. First of all, any development you do, you always want to go to the cache management and make sure your cache is disabled. So you'd select all, and then you'd go and uh, disable under actions. You can see we've already disabled this right here. So that's step one. Step two, very important as well, is you want to turn off, uh, you want to turn off compilation. So um, we, later on, or in the, in the next step, we're going to actually go and edit w one of the the core files. And if compilation is on, your um, your changes won't be won't be uh, accepted or won't won't be read more correctly. So uh, again, you go to tools, you go to compilation. And make sure it's off. Right now, ours is off. So if it's on, you'll have right next to this nice button, you'll have a disabled button. You click on it, make sure it's off. So uh, now we go to the next step, which is basically going to your server's file. So I'm just using right now uh, WSFTP. <clears throat> and you want to go to the following things. You want to go to uh, the folder app slash code slash core slash mage slash PayPal, OK? and then slash model, okay? So you want to go to that, that um, folder, and now we're here. So depending, th there's two uh, uh, so, uh, fixes. There's actually, sorry, one fix, but depending on the version uh, that you have, you may need to fix one of the others. So um, what you have to do is actually fix the standard.php file, and um, depending on the version, you'll either have it in the slash PayPal slash model or you'll have it in the slash PayPal slash model slash API and I'll show you. So in, in our case we didn't have it here but on our, our actual server it was on the standard. So what you do is you open the standard.php okay, and you're going to search for the word um, override O-V-E-R-R-I-D-E. -E. So here it doesn't exist because this is a different version. But um, So it, pretty simple. Let's go to the API folder standard, let's edit it, okay, and search for override, and here it is. So um, this is the line we want to change, actually, so request address override. So one means that, that PayPal is going to verify the address. If you don't, if you, if you want to, to fix this, uh, the problem and you want for 
the users to be able to actually log in and not use the, the address that you provide from the website, you're going to turn it to zero, and that's how we do it fix. So we switch it to zero. Let's save our file. Okay, just want to make sure it's saved. Override equals zero. We're good. And let's actually go to the website. Okay, and let's actually make verify. Of course, you always want to verify that the fixes you did are working. So let's go. Let's log in. Add our test product to to the um, to the cart, and we'll check out with a, just a. Uh, incorrect address and we'll see if it works. Okay, proceed to checkout. Okay, so we'll check out as a guest and we'll fill out just random information. Okay, and of course an incorrect address which of course will not validate. Uh, okay, and next Shipping should be the same, okay. And use PayPal, of course. And let's move on to PayPal, okay. Let's cross our fingers, or not, because we did the work. And redirecting to PayPal. That's it. So now, now you can basically either enter your information here, your your credit card information. Or you can log on with your PayPal account. We overcame the problem. I uh, hope you enjoyed this solution. Uh, be happy to answer any kind of questions if you have anything with this specific topic. As we re researched it uh, quite quite a lot and read a lot of the forms, and um, you know, be happy to answer any questions if we can. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.